all animals. Even Bambi shops at Walmart. Customers in a Minnesota Walmart got a wild surprise after noticing a deer in one of the aisles perusing the merchandise. The young buck was likely hunting for a snack when it strolled right into the store's motion-activated garden doors. Tom Graswick had been deciding on dog dishes when something bumped into him. Imagine his surprise when he saw it was a deer, and in the pet aisle too. Graswick quickly moved to subdue the 100-pound animal, pinning it down near a bag of dog food. The deer whisperer then covered the animal's eyes to keep it from resisting. Once it had calmed down, he and a few others set it free outside. Neither Graswick nor the confused deer were hurt in the incident. Walmart, meanwhile, will likely be making changes to their garden center door. Sorry, Bambi. Looks like no more shopping for you. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Deer do the darndest things. Watch out for the deer! Oh, oh, oh dear. After constantly getting run off the roads by pesky humans, Bambi has finally had enough and she's showing no mercy. The unsuspecting victim was Justin Deluzio, who was competing in his last five-mile race for Gwinnett Mercy University. Deluzio and other runners were barely a mile in when a bunch of deer came charging into the lines. Someone screamed to watch out for the deer, but too late. Man down! A white tail rammed right into Deluzio, lifting him off his feet and sending him crashing to the ground. Ouch. Luckily, he wasn't seriously hurt, just sore and badly bruised. He eventually finished the race with a bit of help from his teammates. Japanese monkey has sexy time with a deer. Here's something you don't see every day. A monkey was caught on camera humping a deer in the woods of Yakushima in southwestern Japan. What's more, it seems like the action was consensual. Japanese macaques are known to hitch rides on deer in the wild, but this was a very different kind of ride. The video, recorded in November 2015 by scientist Alexandra Bonifoy, shows a macaque having a quickie with a Sika deer, humping it 15 times in 10 seconds. Afterward, the deer was seen licking its butt. The monkey then went at it with a second deer. He probably felt like he needed some alone time with this deer deer, because he chased away two bystanders. When another monkey tried to get in on the action, his advances were repulsed and he was thrown off the deer's back. According to a study by Bonifoy and his colleagues, the strange behavior may be the result of mate deprivation. Basically, when monkeys don't have access to females of their own species, they're more likely to engage in some interspecies loving. The monkey appears to have pulled out before blowing his load. Bonifoy said the monkey did likely ejaculate, since the deer licked its butt after the mount, and the sperm could be a good source of protein for the deer. Experts noted the monkeys are extra frisky this time of year because uh, it's breeding season. Deer runs amok inside cafe. An anxious deer turned this small restaurant in St. John's, Indiana, upside down on the morning of October 24th. Surveillance cameras caught the wild encounter along with the expressions of the patrons who witnessed it. Oh dear. It's not exactly known where the deer came from or what drew it to the cafe, but given it was 7 a.m., one can only presume it was the wafting smell of pancakes. The deer must have stumbled upon the cafe, spotted an open window, and leapt through to breakfast heaven. As soon as it got inside, though, it quickly realized that this wasn't the sort of place that served deer. Maybe venison, though. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, the owners of the restaurant, probably making pancakes, heard a loud crash and ran to investigate. As you can see on the tape, when the two worlds collided, they spooked the crap out of each other. Noticeably frightened, the deer bolted past cafe patrons and through another open window. The restaurant staff posted the surveillance footage of the incident to have a little fun on social media with the caption, Amazing food! Even the wildlife wants a bite. Clever marketing! Speaking of the wildlife, we're not sure what became of the deer, but uh, let's just hope it found a way to that pancake breakfast in the end. I want pancakes now. Anybody else want pancakes? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Nick Faber was hunting from a deer stand when a buck came into his sights. Faber took the shot and the young buck fell. He went to investigate the kill with his camera phone. And then this happened.
shit, it's eyes open. Ah! Holy shit! Faber screamed like a girl. Did he soil himself too? As for the deer, the buck's acting was very convincing. We think it deserves a Best Acting Award. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Fun facts about key deer. They're small. They only live in the Florida Keys. There are fewer than 800 in the world. They're not too afraid of people. And at least one of them really likes Doritos. The key deer was just going along. And then the irresistible draw of the yummy goodness of the last tasty morsels at the bottom of the bag proved too much. Two Monroe County Sheriff's deputies saw the bagged creature and stopped to help. It is unclear which flavor of Doritos the deer chowed down on, but we think it might have been salsa verde, guacamole, late night last called jalapeno popper, or intense pickle. Wounded Doe gets her revenge on Wisconsin bow hunter. The doe, a deer, a female deer, is not normally an animal that strikes fear into hunters. But a Wisconsin meat lover is likely wishing he'd never come across one tough Bambi mommy. On January 2nd, a 72-year-old Fond du Lac man grabbed his crossbow and went looking for deer. Spotting a tasty-looking doe on People's Trail, the bow hunter fired, but it was not an instant kill. After ascertaining that he had in fact wounded the animal, the hunter decided to take a break and track the beast later that evening. At about 7 p.m., the hunter strolled back through the woodlands in a bid to track the deer, but the hunter had become the hunted. Suddenly, out of a thicket of brush, the wounded doe leaped at the hunter, banging him repeatedly with her head. The doe's revenge sent the bow hunter to the hospital. The man's condition is unknown, but we'll bet he'll never quite see a doe the same way again.